Hello everyone and welcome to the Lay Throm channel. In our videos we cover filming tips, tricks and techniques, equipment and product reviews and many other things that will help you in the world of filmmaking and photography. Check out our videos and don't forget to subscribe. What's up everybody? Matt from Latham here. Welcome back. Thank you for tuning in. Glad to see you all here. Today actually is going to be a real quick, simple, easy video uh, actually stemming from an argument that we had earlier today in the shop and that is basically what do you use? What's the best tool for the job? So I should say between Photoshop, Illustrator and InDesign. Again, not exactly something that I really thought I would have to make. However, uh, due to an argument with one of our interns, unfortunately, that seems to be the case. Now, starting off with Photoshop, this is a raster program, i.e. pixels. This is great for exactly what the name implies, messing around with photos. Now, don't get me wrong, that's not the only thing you could do with Photoshop. To be quite honest with you, you could do a lot with Photoshop. Photoshop is a great and precise pixel based photo editor and image creator. Whether or not you're superimposing one uh, image over another, you know, what we usually refer to as copy paste or cut paste, or you're creating a GUI or a graphical user interface or what have you, that is exactly the road that Photoshop was made to go down. It doesn't matter if you're making icons for your desktop or what have you, this is the route that you're gonna wanna take. It's exactly what you see on the screen here. It is set up for a photo. Now, one of the big things and the reason why I stress that this is, you know, it's pixel based, it is a raster image, if you come in here and we'll zoom in, you can see we start getting a lot of pixelation in the detail, even though this is a really large image. Let's see here, what size are we at? We're at 5472 by 3648. It's a 57.1 me um, megabyte file. It's not anything to sneeze at. However, when you start zooming into a file, you lose a lot of detail. You get a lot of aliasing involved, a lot of pixelation. It looks like crap. That brings us to number two, and that is Adobe Illustrator. This is what you want to use whenever you're creating logos, whenever you're going through and creating brand marks, uh, other design elements like that, vector-based drawings, which is what you're looking at pretty much right here on the screen in front of you. It is a vector-based or math-based uh, drawing platform, for the lack of a better terminology. What do I mean by vector-based? Well, everything is based on, like I just said, math. So it doesn't matter how far you zoom in to this image. I mean, this is 60, yeah, 64,000 percent of the image that I originally started off with. And if I move, uh, let's see, there we go. You can still see this black edge where it meets the tan is still as crisp as you originally had it. That is one of the reasons why you want to use this for something like logos or even t-shirts design, uh, t-shirt designs. If you're using it for, uh, you know, maybe if you're making silkscreen t-shirts, stuff like that. You want to use Illustrator mainly because it doesn't matter how much you scale an image, whether you scale it down or scale it up. You don't get any aliasing. You don't get any pixelation. You don't get garbage. And finally, you have InDesign. Now, InDesign is basically made for printed material, such as brochure, uh, brochures, uh, newsletters, ads, business cards, books, PDF blocks, whatever ever you can come up and dream with magazines you know what have you anything dealing with print you basically want to use InDesign you have the ability to create multi-page layouts inside of InDesign which is something that you cannot really do with Photoshop it's just not really possible I mean you can have multiple files but that gets extremely confusing, extremely quick, or I guess I would just say it becomes a cluster. Another adage to InDesign is it basically outputs the files in their native format. It doesn't matter if it's raster or vector, it can handle both. And on top of that, it doesn't store all your data inside of layers like Photoshop does. Give you a good example here, we have links. 
Now, as you can see in this little window up here in the upper right hand corner, we have one, two, three, four, five different EPS, well, four different EPS and a JPEG that are linked outside of this document itself. So instead of having outrageous file sizes when you're, you know, in Photoshop, you have to layer on top of layer on top of layer. In InDesign, you really don't have to worry about any of that. You can have it reference an image on the server or on the disk, you know, whatever you're using to make your actual product. Now, one of the drawbacks is that InDesign, while it has drawing capabilities, it's not as powerful as illustrators. However, it it's not exactly that hard to draw, you know, a logo or what have you inside of Illustrator and pull it in InDesign. The way, the easiest way I look at this is InDesign is basically the best of both worlds between Photoshop and Illustrator, especially when you're dealing with print. You have the ability to kind of blend and merge both of those together to get something looking exactly the way you want. All in all, in the end, this was very brief. You know, I tried to keep the video as short as possible. Hopefully it cleared up any confusion that some of you may or may not have. You know, it all depends on who you are and how you know knowledgeable you are with the software. But in the long run, in the very end, use InDesign for anything that you're printing, whether it be a brochure, business card, you know, binder, you know, book, what have you, folder. If you're doing anything such as like a graphical user interface, if you're using it to create, you know, uh, banner ads, editing photos and whatnot, use Photoshop. And if you're going through and you're creating book or uh, not bookmarks, if you're creating logos, uh, brand marks and other things like that, where you need a lot of detail, you need to, you know, run that scale up or down, use Adobe Illustrator. As always, if you have any questions, concerns, comments, feel free to drop them in the comment box below. If I missed anything, by all means, let us know. I do not proclaim to know it all. So I welcome the feedback and the constructive criticism, not the crappy criticism but either way uh as always do not forget to like share and subscribe if you haven't yet check out our uh firefighter documentary that we're trying to raise money for please if you can throw in a dollar for that that would be much appreciated you also have the ability to buy t-shirts there's a card a uh, little you know right about now that should be popping up on the screen that allows you to buy a t-shirt that also helps us out um but until next time i will see you guys later